Well, how do you think Joe pitched? And could you talk about the mechanics of the sixth inning and leaving him in after Castellanos? Uh, I thought he pitched well. It was miraculous. He got out of the first inning like he did, and I thought Ruben did a great job calming him down. I had uh, I had Hill up for for Stott after with two out and nobody on. I thought Joe could get the next guy out. Was Garcia up in the beginning of that inning, and then depending on where we went, yeah, depending on how the inning went. But once he got two out, I was gonna. It was just gonna be Hill for Stott. After you got through this game, what are your pitching plans for tomorrow? Kleb's gonna start tomorrow. Huh. What do you expect out of him, or what could be kind of the best? We'll just see how it goes. Take it batter to batter. How much does it hurt to not have these options on the bench? You have one left-handed batter, and when you spend him, he's done. Or yeah, well, I mean, I, we thought it was a pretty good matchup at the time. We feel like we have a good lineup throughout, uh, one through nine. So, in theory, we don't need a lot of a lot, a lot of help. But uh, you know, that's what our roster looks like. I know it just left. happened, but have you seen a, the, the replay of the profile check swing? What's your vantage point on yeah, it? Yeah, you know, it, it blocked out a little bit. Originally looked like it might have gone, but then you would go back and look at it. Maybe his, maybe the bat didn't get out there. I mean, it's close call, tough one, but um, maybe not. At that, that moment in the game, is it's, it? I mean, yeah, it's big, big. I mean, big moment. Obviously, that's two out, nobody on. Soto had a couple a couple plays in right field today. There were maybe tough plays, the one-liner in front of him, the one to his right. But what do you kind of make of the way he, he played those today? Yeah, he was trying to be aggressive. Those are tough plays. Those are 50-50s, both of them. So, you know, in a, in a scenario like this, he's trying to get to the ball, make a good play, and get an out. Next question. Anything else, guys? Ready to go back, back to Kevin? Early on, was the, was the plan to sort of wait out Suarez and see how his command was? It's kind of a a little bit of a passive approach early on. Yeah, I mean, he walked some guys, um, trying to get the ball up, not trying to hit it on the ground. You know, he only ended, he didn't end up walking anybody, so his command was pretty good. We only got two hits off him regardless, but, uh, you know, we were trying to make him throw the ball over the plate. Okay, that's it. Oh, here on the right. Hey, uh, Skip, you uh, talked how much the, the crowd at Pickle Park helped you guys the first couple of games and really in the division series as right. well. Is it the opposite effect when you come into a situation like this? It's really you know, hostile towards you? Well, I think it's it's beneficial for them. I think when you're on the road, it just, you know, you, you try to make it just end up being noise. So, you know, when you're at home, you want to, you know, get some momentum from it. On the road, you're just playing. Can you go back over here on the left? I'm sure it helped them, yeah. Uh, were you surprised at all that Ranger Suarez came after just five innings? And is there any silver lining that you got all three of their high leverage relievers today? And yeah, maybe to have them throw some pitches down at the bottom, sure. But I think that was probably their plan today um, was to get five out of the starter and turn it over to the guys that they used in leverage situations. Barry here in the front. Hey Bob, do you have pitching plans for Sunday too yet, or uh, is that still up in the air? Uh, we'll, we'll, let's get by tomorrow and then we'll figure out Sunday. But you have an idea? You yes, know, I have an idea. If it stays in rotation? Yeah, okay. we'll see how it goes. Okay. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Bob.